Hello my dear tourism students welcome to online classes paper tourism products and resources topic Karnataka tourism products Karnataka is the land of absolute diversity be it heritage culture nature beaches or wildlife Karnataka is primarily known for its heritage destination and its wildlife apart from that it is also famous for its magical hill stations more than 400 spectacular waterfalls pilgrimage centers and a 320 kilometer long coastline with unspoiled beaches thus making it an ideal place for a traveler with diverse interests a land known for its silks spices and sandalwood karnataka adds up as an experience to remember for a lifetime Tourism in Karnataka stands out with its diverse offerings that include wildlife and national parks, monuments and heritage sites, beaches and pilgrimage sites. At another notable point is that tourist attraction in Karnataka are located at geographically extreme ends which interestingly make the capital Bengaluru, Silicon Valley of India the focal point of tour itinerary. Karnataka tourism products can be classified into three types natural tourism product man-made tourism product and symbiotic tourism product let us discuss one by one natural tourism products these are more closely associated with natural environment this includes natural resources such as areas climate and its setting landscape and natural environment natural resources are frequently the most important elements in a destination's attraction major natural resources could be in rural part of karnataka natural tourism products are made up of climate natural beauty water bodies flora and fauna beaches islands let us discuss one by one the climate of a tourist destination is an important attraction as good weather plays an important role in making a holiday a warm sunny and dry climate is typically considered desirable by most tourists especially those from cold winter areas climate is important factor for the timing of travel people choose those destinations for holiday where climate is very good the scenery and natural beauty of places has always attracted tourists tourists enjoy nature in all its various forms there are landforms like mountains valleys canyons cliffs etc the elements that attract people to mountains are clean air diverse landscape rich biodiversity scenic beauty snowfall recreational opportunities and culture water bodies always attract hundreds and thousands of tourists around the world and lot of adventure based water activities are favorites among foreign tourists there are more than 400 waterfalls officially listed in karnataka state example Girisopa Falls which is popularly known as Jo Falls is one of the highest waterfall in Asia. Shivana Samudra Falls, Idlumane Falls, Sirimane Falls are few important waterfalls and Gokak Falls which is known as Niagara Falls of Karnataka. There are many beautiful and unexplored beaches in our state for example Marwanti Beach, Kapu Beach and world famous Om Beach. Kali River is a very famous for river rafting in Karnataka. Flora and fauna attract many tourists. Wildlife sanctuaries, national parks, bird sanctuaries, botanic garden are the places where one can view and learn about the flora and fauna. Tourists like to know the various types of plants and trees that they see and which trees gives fruits in which seasons. There are many plants which are specific to certain regions and many times students and travelers visit those areas specially to see those varieties of plants. 
The great hornbill bird is very famous in Dandeli wildlife sanctuary. Karnataka has largest population of tiger in India and many other wildlife. Beaches are popular among tourists seeing relaxation and recreation. Beaches provide beautiful natural scenery with golden sands, lush green vegetation and bright blue sky. The water usage involves swimming, surfing, sailing, wind surfing, water scootering, parasailing, motorboat rides, etc. These are filled with natural beauty, with a rare flora and fauna and local lifestyle. This makes islands an ideal place for adventure, nature and culture lovers to visit. St. Mary's Island, Netrani Island are pretty much famous among tourists in Karnataka. Man-made tourism products are created by man for pleasure, leisure or business. Man-made tourism products are made up of culture, tradition, entertainment. Let us discuss one by one. Cultural tourism is based on the combination of places, traditions, art forms, celebrations and experiences that portray the nation and its people, reflecting the diversity and character of country. Example for cultural tourism attractions are archaeological sites, example Chandravali Tota in Chitradurga, Badami, Haivule, Anegundi, etc. in Karnataka, heritage buildings and monuments, example Mysore Palace in Mysore, Shivapanaka Palace in Shivamagga, Bangalore Palace, Vidhan Sauda, Atara Kachiri, which is popularly known as Karnataka High Court Building Complex, are best examples. Places of historical significance like Hampi, Chitradurga Fort, Bandur Fort in Osnagra, Kavaladurga Fort in Tirthali, etc. Museums and art galleries, Visheshwarya Technical Museum and Venkatappa art gallery are best examples. A custom also called as tradition is anything which lots of people do and have done for a long time. A custom is more about practices while culture is about ideas or a group of customs. The native life and customs of people is an attraction because every part of the world has its own set of lifestyle in form of ritual, daily practices, food, religious beliefs, etc. Indian wedding rituals performed in Indian temples are very much attracted by foreign tourists. Examples for our traditions are pilgrimages like Koloramu Kambike, Shingari Sharada Mata, Varanado Sri Annapurna Shri Temple, etc. Fairs and festivals like Mysore Dasra, Kampi Utsava, Padatkalu Dance Festival, Vairamudi Utsava, Mahamastavisheka, etc. Arts and handicrafts, Chinnapatna Gumbe, Bedari Metal Art, Ilakal Sire, Mysore Paintings, Sandalwood Art in Mysore, etc. Dance and music, folk art like Ekshagana, Kolata, Viragasi, Dolukunita and classical arts like Karnataka Shastriya Sangeeta, Bharatanatyam, Kuchipudi are pretty famous in Karnataka. Native life and customs. This includes the everyday lifestyle including dress, food, habits, agricultural practices, organizing events, etc. Entertainment is a driver of many tourist journeys. A great deal of tourist attraction has strong entertainment connections. This include local rural sports, theatres and museums, all of which could be considered to be tourist attraction. Indeed, a great entertainment venues are tourism destinations. Examples can be given as follows. Amusement park and recreation parks like GRS Fantasy World, Fun World, Snow City and Wonderla. Uh, sports event like Kambala, Kusti Pandya, Kabaddi and many rural games. Zoo and aquarium like Mysore Zoo, Pilakula in Bangalore, Government Aquarium Museum in Bangalore, etc. 
సినిమాస్ అండ్ థియేటర్ లైక్ కర్ణాటక శాండల్వుడ్ సినిమా ఇండస్ట్రీ నినాసం ఇన్ సాగర రంగాయణ ఇన్ మైసూర్ గుబ్బి వీరణ కంపెనీ ఎక్సెట్రా నైట్ లైఫ్ బెంగళూరు మెట్రోపాలిటన్ సిటీ ఇస్ బెస్ట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫర్ నైట్ లైఫ్ మైసూర్ అండ్ బెంగళూరు ఆర్ ఆల్సో కమింగ్ అప్ ఇన్ దిస్ వే symbiotic tourism products this products are an excellent blend of natural and man made resources nature has provided the natural resources and man has converted them into tourism products by managing them national parks wildlife sanctuaries marine parks are good examples of symbiotic tourism products national parks are examples uh, are left in their natural state of beauty as far as possible but they have to be managed by providing routes transport parking facility resorts jeeps for etc though the core attraction is nature in this category of tourism product but this products are symbiosis of nature and man tourism business tourism business is not always about big flights Faisal Hotels, Paris or London. Tourism business is as simple as a village walk, milking cow and experiencing local cuisines. These are also our tourism products. Now, let us know how to do tourism business using these tourism products, keeping in mind the sustainable concept. It is very easy to start any business if all resources and infrastructure are available. Same applies to tourism industry where if one has to do a business all the natural and man-made resources products should be available and also infrastructure. So if everything is available it is very easy to start a business. Example starting our tourism business in western ghats with natural resources is easy starting tourism business in hampi or any heritage and cultural centers is very easy but not everyone is lucky to born in this rich tourism destinations we have to start tourism business and get success by available tourism products at our place and create new tourism products which can attract tourists Let us take example of Devarayana Durga to understand tourism products and how to do a tourism business. Devarayana Durga and its surrounding area are very rich in natural beauty and rural lifestyle. At tourism business has not flourished here. This place is very near to Bangalore which is the biggest market for Karnataka tourism. If we list out the tourism products in this area we will get hundreds of hills and historical forts and temples on top of these hills cultural centers village agricultural practices trekking places camping places wildlife etc tourist currently looking for experience of village lifestyle first hand experience in agricultural activities preparing food in traditional way and participate in village fairs and festival all these are tourism products we need to combine all this individual tourism products and make it a package to offer tourist who is looking for multi tourist attractions and activities at one destination if you guys remember the natural man made and symbiotic tourism products here in devarana durga we can find all three natural tourism products many hills trekking places hiking places etc in devarana durga man made tourism products many forts hill top ancient temples local lifestyle culture and tradition etc in devarayana durga symbiotic tourism products like devarayana durga state forest agricultural practices etc in this place to start tourism business in this rural areas we need sustainable and eco friendly concept which help us to protect local culture and surrounding environment and also generate jobs and create alternative income source for local community rural tourism is best suited for developing tourism in areas which showcases rural lifestyle 
homestay, agri tourism, community based tourism, village tourism, rural tourism are the wonderful concepts which can be adopted to develop local community, especially local rural community. This is a step by step development in which tourism business of any rural area in Karnataka can be developed. Government is already promoting homestay in very large scale and the next level is agritourism which leads to community based tourism which helps to generate various small job opportunities and develop entire village and finally all this leads to develop rural area which includes many villages. Devarayana Durga and its surrounding are well adopted and uh, can be developed by above concepts. Agritourism is best way to start tourism business through which we can create alternative income source for local community. To recall tourism products of Devarayana Durga naturally available. Uh, Devarayana Durga is the chain of hills which offers excellent trekking, camping and scenic view. If you come to man-made historical forts, ancient temples, fair and festivals etc can be considered. And for a symbiotic tourism products, Devarayana Durga State Forest Agritourism which includes first hand experience of agriculture and related activities, dairy farming, local lifestyle experience, local food experience, village walk, bicycle ride etc. Conclusion Tourism products are not only world famous heritage buildings, waterfalls, amusement parks. Tourism products are not only naturally available flora and fauna, man-made products like fort and temples and symbiotic products like state forest and agritourism discussed in today's online classes. Tourism products include beyond these listed items. Tourism products can be as simple as village walk, milking cow, involving in agricultural activities, bullock cart, ride, etc. Moreover, infrastructure places a major role and it adds value to above listed tourism products. It is very important to note that tourism products and tourism business is win-win situation for both human and nature. Tourism business not only contributes to local economy but also protects our environment and lastly, tourism business helps to build strong infrastructure around tourist destination which leads to overall development of rural Karnataka. Thank you. Kindly log in to Department of Tourism, Government of Karnataka website for more information about Karnataka tourism products and tourism business.